Aloha! And happy summer! It's June! Yes, I love summer! And I'm so excited that you're here joining me for our first summer art class of the year. So, our art project is called the Pineapple Summer Craze. I'm really excited. It's actually one of my favorite art pieces and we are using watercolors, which is one of my favorite mediums. Now, if at any time you need help, go ahead, put pause, and ask a grown-up to come and help you. This might be a little project that is a little bit longer, so if you need to take a break, if you need to move your body, dance, take some stretches, or have a drink of water, go right ahead. I'll be here waiting for you. So, we are gonna go over the materials that you'll be needing to complete this project. Now, the list of materials will be in the description box below, along with the links that will let you know where you can find these materials. All right, kids, let's get started with our Pineapple Craze Art Project. All right, kids, before we can get started on our art project, let's go over the list of materials that you'll need in order to complete your art piece. Okay, so you're going to need a ruler, a 9 by 12 mixed media art paper. If you have a 7 by 10, that works out just fine. You're going to need a sketch pencil. This one's a 2B, but if you have a regular pencil, that'll work. An eraser, a water bottle or a water cup, and paint brushes. This is the filbert brush. You're going to definitely need to use this one. This is an angular brush. Now we only use this to clean up um, the water areas, not to paint. You're also going to need a round number 10 and also a round number six. There are different sizes. And a liner number one brush and a liner sketch. This bristle is a lot longer. And I'm just using this fan brush to just brush off any of the eraser particles that are left on the mixed media art paper. You're also gonna need a, a towel or a paper towel works fine. And a painter's palette so you could put your paints on. And the paints that you're gonna be needing are the following, neon pink, violet, yellow green, green, aquamarine, neon orange, turquoise, black, and a little bit of brown. All right, kids, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna make a quick little light sketch. Put your pencil towards the top mid, bring it down, not towards the middle, above the midline, and make a light horizontal sketch line. Now, just kinda go towards the bottom and make a horizontal line at the bottom. And that's kind of the size I want my pineapple to to be so I'm going to extend and make the horizontal line a little bit longer a little bit wider and I'm going to start sketching a little bit more and then just start sketching downward and as you go as you get to a certain point you're going to curve because you're making a pineapple right so we're going to Sketch downward again to the other side. We're going to do the same exact thing. And we want to make sure that we curve at around the same um, area. Not the same area, but the same distance. So now we're going to curve upwards. Nice. Okay. So we have, and now we're going to curve. You see that little curve that I'm doing at the top? I'm curving it into a round pineapple, right? We're gonna later erase the, the triangles or the corners. So once we're done sketching our, the shape of our pineapple, we're gonna go ahead and start with the leaves. We're gonna add some beautiful leaves to our pineapple. We're going to create its beautiful crown of leaves. There we go. Uh, so we're going to start out small, you know, add little leaves. And then as we increase our momentum of filling up, we're going to 
increase the size of the leaves. So go ahead. And you want to make sure that we have a nice, round, balanced crown of leaves on this pineapple. Where you start, like the leaves that are on the left side, they're pointing towards the left side. And the leaves on the right side are pointing towards the right side. And then you also want to kind of create leaves going upwards, like linear. Um, so it's, and like I said, so it's a nice, well-balanced um crown of leaves for our beautiful crazy fun summer pineapple and it doesn't have to look exactly like mine go ahead explore decide what you want to add to your art piece your pineapple art piece and you know just an idea but this is also a great birthday gift or a gift to you know someone that you care about so look at that gorgeous <clears throat> ah running i'm losing my voice nah all right so i feel like there's something missing hmm. all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our pencil aside and grab our eraser and there we go. We're going to erase the corners that I had talked about earlier on. And because we don't no longer need that and dust it off with our little fan brush comes in handy. It's a great brush to paint with as well. Now I'm not too happy with this little side. So I'm going to go ahead and fix it before I start painting. So if you guys need to fix anything before we start painting, do it now. So I'm just going to add another little leaf. And I might add another big leaf. Two little leaves and yeah. Let's go ahead and add another leaf. Just a little long one. Beautiful. Almost there. Alrighty. Perfect. So just dust it off. Clean up your mixed media paper, make sure everything's all right before we actually start painting. Nice. Okay, so let's dust it off again. I'm uh, making sure that everything's perfect before we transition to the actual painting. All right, so now we can put everything aside Beautiful. So now we're just going to add some water to our empty spaces on our painter's palette. Go ahead that. Go ahead and start doing that. And then wet your entire paper with your paintbrush. Just wet it all. It's a really easier technique. It's I love when I'm using watercolors, I will just add water to my paper so that way um, my colors can bleed through quickly and it's just it's a good it's a good way to get your watercolors started um, so I'm really excited to get this started with you guys so go ahead add some water to your art piece of paper once you have wet your entire paper I get some yellow just a tiny bit on the tip and start spreading it all over. It doesn't matter if you paint over your pineapple, we're gonna be paint, painting over it. So, and what you wanna do is you just, you want a little bit of yellow, not too much. So if you run out, all you have to do is dab just a tiny bit with a little bit of water that you have in the little empty spaces on your painter's palette and just go ahead and just pull the colors all around. So you can see how the yellow is starting to, you know, um, show up on your art paper you really don't need a lot of paint especially with watercolors because with uh, water um, it the water helps it spread out more so look how nice that looks beautiful I love it
So you're going to grab your round brush and dip your brush into your water. And we're going to add a little bit more water to the empty spaces because we really want to use different colors to add to our pineapple. So go ahead, get started. So once you get a nice amount of water onto your empty spaces, you can add some neon pink or whichever color you want. You can decide what colors you want to start with. I'm gonna start with neon pink. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten my brush and just pick random spots. I don't have a really, an order that I use my colors for my pineapple craze. Just pick any spot that you'd like. And what you could do is, like I said before, flatten your brush and twist and turn and just spread that beautiful pink. Now we're gonna be adding layers, okay? So for this first part, I'm just gonna show you how to use your brush correctly and blend in a few colors before we speed up the process. Now if at any time you need to slow it down, go ahead and put pause so you can catch up. So now I'm gonna add some neon orange into my little water area and um, make sure that it blends very well. So I twist and turn my, um, my number 10 brush and I pick any spot and I'm doing the same process. Look at that. And what we do is we wanna just pick any random spot and just let, let the colors bleed in together. So I'm not afraid to add it next to p the pink because I want it to bleed together. So after this, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse a little bit and let's Let's look for another color. I think I'm gonna use turquoise. So let's get some turquoise. Make sure we have enough water. And yes, I have a little orange onto my turquoise on that little bubble water, but that's fine because turquoise is such a strong color. As you can see, beautiful. And I picked an empty spot, negative space, and filled that negative space and colored it with turquoise so you see how i've just flattened my brush and just kind of glide it down and twist and turn you know what feel out your brushes play with it see what works and see what doesn't so i'm gonna go for some aquamarine nice and we're gonna add little aquamarine there yes look how nice it blends and it kind of looks like turquoise but it's not turquoise is a bit more brighter whereas aquamarine is softer it has a softer look to it whereas turquoise is just a strong vibrant color aquamarine is but it's i don't know to me it's softer so let's pick a, a little bit of uh let me add some water here and i think i might add um yellow green to the tiny empty areas so i'm going to add some water there later on i'm going to be blending in so it, it doesn't matter if aquamarine and lime yellow um not lemon yellow <laughs> yellow green blend in that's fine okay so now that i have my green i'm gonna just press against it all right Many little areas. So the glistening areas are the areas that are still, you know, a little wet, and the areas that aren't glistening are the areas that are soft. I mean, dry, and um, they have like a soft look to them. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some more green here, a little, you know, connect colors together, and I'm gonna go ahead and probably choose. Let's see what color do I want. Let me finish this little area right here. And let's go for some pink. So we're gonna layer it on. So this is the technique that you're gonna continue going and using. You're just gonna layer the colors. Um, you're going to add some like pink paint. If there is any bleeding, you can always use a dry brush to kind of bring in the water if it bleeds out. Um, if you want your pineapple to bleed out on the sides, that's fine. I actually want to contain it. <laughs> uh, 
So that's a nice little tip that I can give to you. So let's go ahead and rinse and we need to add some more pink. Now I'm running out of pink, so I'm gonna have to grab some more. But I'm gonna add orange, <clears throat> my neon orange. So right now it's really light and you're probably wondering, hey, how do I make it so bright? Well, this is what I do. I grab some more neon pink and I add water, but not as much as I did before. Just wanted to add a nice base. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your, your neon pink more vibrant and you're gonna just add to it. Beautiful, see how I did that? You're gonna be doing that the entire time. So the next, um, process will be speeding up a bit but now you have an idea so go on explore and add bright colors make sure not to add too much water at this point all right i'll see you guys Keep it going. Explore. So dip your round brush into some water and we're going to add some green. So different shades of green. We're going to add yellow green, regular green, turquoise, aquamarine. Use those colors. Make sure that your brush is wet with water and add just some color and spread every shade of the greens that I listed um, because we're going to add some details using a different brush the um we're going to use um the number 10 brush it's the liner brush so as soon as we're done filling in the leaves we're going to add details using all of the colors and just using the tip of it so we're going to go rather fast so go ahead explore and have fun and if you need a pause to catch up go right ahead just have fun
grab your ruler. You're going to diagonally place it at the bottom and you're going to grab your liner paintbrush, dip it into brown paint, and then paint over that line. And we're going to do another line and then we're going to just move on really quickly. So if you need to pause, go right ahead. sunglasses so grab your same liner brush and dip it into some black paint create a line and we're gonna trace out the shades sunglasses and fill it in all right kids have fun with your amazing pineapple Now that we've completed our art project, I hope that you loved how yours turned out. And if you had fun and you learned some new watercolor techniques, go ahead, click on the button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Art Time with Flurry, to get notifications of our upcoming summer art classes for July, August, and September. All right, kids, I can't wait to see you. Bye.